This is Beth Brown Rensel, and I want to welcome you to one of my videos about helix knitting. Helix knitting is a type of knitting that takes advantage of the fact that circular knitting is a spiral, not actually a circle. And so this sock, which is the large size of my new pattern, the helix sock, um, illustrates that I have three colors being worked one at a time so we're not stranding and there is no jog no matter where you look within the entire piece. So as you knit across one color when you come to the next color you stop pick up the other color and continue on and so forth and so on you can have more than three colors. You can do this with just two colors, in fact. I'm not really sure of the provenance of helix knitting, but this technique has been applied to the finished coarseness sweater, where two or three knitters would sit together in a circle, knitting each a round of their own. So typically, in the knitted section of the coarseness sweater, there are two plain rounds in white, and then a pattern round of white and red or white and blue. Now I have completed the ribbing and I am ready to add the other colors. So one way to approach this is to figure out how many colors you've got and divide them into your total number of stitches. So this is the large size of my sock which is 72 stitches divided by 3 is 24 stitches. So I'm going to knit 24 stitches of each color and thereafter switch as I meet the next color. So here I have 24 stitches knitted in the first color and now I'm going to join the second color. And I just hold the tail behind the work and knit across. And here I'm down to the last few stitches of the second color, 24, and now I'm going to join the third color. And again, I'm just, so I'm just dropping the last yarn that I used and picking up the new yarn, just holding it behind the work as I knit the next third. Now I'm back at the beginning of the round. And there is no yarn to pick up yet because this color that was also the ribbing is over here. So this is how the color is going to advance in every round. So I'm going to knit two-thirds with this color. So I finished off the round with this color and now I'm going to knit another third. Another important point to consider when you're working helix knitting is that very last stitch before you start another color. You can see that the color below is rather loose and I'm just about to switch from my dark yarn to my light yarn. So you want to tension that stitch down a bit of the previous yarn that you are now going to work. But you don't want to tighten it too much. You want to try to keep it in the tension that the surrounding stitches are at so that it'll blend in nicely. Now I'm ready to begin the heel. So in the last pass I made with the last color, which is C, I knitted up to the end of the round and then I continued on for the half of the heel flap. Now, to set myself up later on for the proper use of the different colors to keep them in order, I m worked the other two colors all the way around. First, the next color after C, and then the next color, and they are waiting next to the right hand side of the heel flap so that when I'm ready to start knitting all in the round again they'll be right where I need them. 
So now I'm ready to put all of these stitches from the heel flap onto one needle and I'll begin working back and forth flat. Here we are down at the toe now. The sock is completed except for that. So I've spaced out the placement of the yarns that I'm going to disconnect so that I can continue with one just for the solid colored toe. So this is the beginning and end of the round and I've worked one yarn there and I've worked one yarn to the halfway point of needle three. Here is my yarn that I'm going to use for the toe. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you'll also enjoy Helix Knitting. Thanks for watching.